Hey guys, how's it going? Jay Sensational here. Welcome back to the channel. So today is patch day. Um, depending on when you are watching this video, the patch, if you're watching it right as it comes out, the patch will be coming out in a couple hours. Um, but today is Wednesday the 8th. And if you guys missed out on the patch and the information of all the cards that are getting buffed or nerfed in this patch, feel free to click on the video link down below in the description of my uh, coverage of the patch. But nonetheless, I want to present to you guys seven cool decks that do feature some of the newly changed cards and I think can have some decent potential and some just to uh, have a little bit more fun with some of the wackier cards. Uh, that have been changed but let's jump into it starting off with one of the recent changes to lucian lucian is critically now a one mana two one and uh, lucian in the past hasn't really seen much play in the meta but when it has it has seen it in this deck which was lucian azir and this is pretty much a very very combo centric deck uh, utilizing the sand soldiers to help level up lucian and once you get that rally, you get that similar effect to Aurelia Blade Dance that really helps you to pop off. In addition, being in Demacia, you also get access to a few scout tools, such as Ranger Knight Defector, Green Fang Warden, as well as Valor in the form of Blinding Assault to also pair with both Azir and Deus to get out more Sand Soldiers. Because this deck was so focused on being a very combo-oriented deck, it is very tight on mana and of course Lucian now being a one drop gives you one extra mana to play with in the early game but very importantly also helps you curve out Lucian into Deus into Azir. Uh, even though Lucian is a little bit more vulnerable we still have cards like Catch and Sharp Sight to kind of protect it but it was never really about <laughs> whether or not you, your opponent could remove Lucian it's really just Sort of balls to the walls combo and you're really just trying to get your game plan out and you know not all decks can deal with lucian and so this deck is a very very fast combo centric deck if you are an enjoyer of zero Relia, uh, this is a very nice flavor uh, if you never got a chance to play it would highly recommend checking it out so that's first deck of the patch that i wanted to showcase with you guys Next up, we have Alawi. Alawi getting a buff from a 1 6 to a 2 6, as well as Tentacle Smash going from, I guess, hasn't changed yet, but 4 mana to 3 mana. Um, this deck was a deck that has sort of been floating around, just itsy bitsy here and there. I got absolutely smashed by this deck recently on Ladder, and I do think it has some pretty decent potential. This deck in particular utilizes. The spawn cards of Watchful Idol, uh, as well as Eye of the God, to really help kickstart off a tentacle. And once you get that tentacle going, you really, really, really want to scale it forward using cards like Brewer Leader in order to kind of send that tentacle in with the Eye of the God attached to help it grow extra by an extra two, also allowing you to really unleash some combo potential, getting that tentacle going faster and faster. You have cards like Ghost, uh, Wuju Style, Syncopation, and all these other cards to really just sneak in damage. This can really output a lot of damage, scale up that tentacle very, very fast, but definitely a little bit more of a combo approach to this whole Alawi archetype. You can definitely play Alawi in a little bit slower mid-range kind of style, but this one's just a little bit more combo-centric, even utilizing things like Black Flame in order to capture cards like uh, Sea's Voice, and all of a sudden you can attack with a Tentacle, summon out Sea's Voice, get that overwhelm to the Tentacle as well as extra spawn. It just gives a lot of utility, versatility, and a lot of creativity in how you can kind of pilot this deck. Allow you change uh, isn't super impactful. It lets you a little block a little bit more, but I do think the three-mana Tentacle Smash will help enable this deck even further beyond as it really does focus mainly on scaling up that one tentacle and having a little bit extra spawn as well as a little bit of extra interaction can probably go a long way in combination with cards like spirits refuge to get yourself a little bit of that heal next up this is a deck that i kind of pulled off of sunny's uh rune terror.ar but we have a look at Jax Orn, both sides of the situation, both getting buffed a little bit. We have Jax uh, naturally gaining overwhelm, Orn getting a few extra stats, and a few of the weapon, uh, the, the reforge, or the forge cards rather, uh, in like Weapon, Smith Apprentice, as well as Hearthblood Mender getting a little bit of a buff alongside Favored Artisan. Really just a pretty straightforward mid-range deck, utilizing some of the newly buffed cards 
just playing uh, weapon master cards on curve now they have cards like fish fight to add a little bit layer extra layer of interaction that the deck didn't have beforehand you do have a little bit more of a fighting power against other decks and it, it's a fantastically strong card in conjunction with uh, all of your weapon master cards as well as your forge cards that allow you to get a little bit extra power behind your strike so still very straightforward deck but now critically having that piece of interaction with fish fight outside of your attack token can speed up this deck a lot and as well as helping you potentially leveling up orn if you have a big enough unit Next up on the list, we have a little bit of a throwback back to Kindred Nasus, although this deck really doesn't utilize that many new cards. Uh, we do have the Hate Spike buff going to a deal 3 instead of a deal 2. Now, uh, it is 2 mana, but now it does, I think, hit a lot more things uh, surrounding kind of what you're looking at. And, you know, we did get a new card, Castigate. If you want to throw a cheeky little Castigate into this deck, it does kind of synergize with Kindred where you kill all the followers. And then you, if they have a champion on board, you'll mark their champion. You'll kill all of your undying so that, you know, you'll get to summon them back even bigger the following turn. And there's, a, you know, a little bit of a cool synergy there. But otherwise, um, not too too different much different about this deck in the past so you like the same combo cards of uh, undying you have the blood letters to kill off the undying to summon Solani, for example you have a ravenous butcher and glimpse beyond to kill undyings and all this inline procs or kindred and because we're getting a lot of buffs to a lot of these mid-range cards the allowi the shivana uh the the the, the jacks uh, i'm expecting a good amount of mid-range decks to kind of come out of the buff or at least be very popular in the first couple of days and kindred nasus has always been uh that staple back in the day to kind of put an end to those to those uh to those decks so still very excited to try this one out uh, very interested to see the power of hate spike coming out of the buff and that could potentially just feed into other uh, shadow isles tempo decks in replacement of Qu Next up, we have Dragons featuring the newly buffed Shivana. Shivana now being able to level up in deck makes her a much more potent bomb to drop in the later game if you man if you don't manage to draw her early because you are being able you are generating that extra copy of Strafing Strike to combo off with your already very very big dragons. Cards like the Screeching Dragon, Kadrigan, and Eclipse Dragon, having that a little bit of extra strike from the level of Shivana is very, very good and can help you apply a lot more pressure throughout. Uh, we have Dragon's Clutch to draw us a couple of dragons, and of course the Classic Eclipse into Aesol on turns 7 and 8. If you manage to have Herald of Dragons, you can copy this, you can do this on turn 6 into 7, and just managing to go bigger than your opponent as a very very board centric mid-range deck we are piled high with strike spells three single combats two strafings and a concerted strike and i decided to throw in fiora because why the heck not we're generating the single combats um and it could be funny to run one of the ima dragon weapons to put on fiora specifically to make strafing strike work but that's a little bit too niche and probably a little bit <laughs> a little out there in terms of deck but very again another very classic style of mid-range deck that does get a showcase when the near shivana changes so very excited to hopefully have shivana be a little bit more present in the meta Second to last, um, this is an abomination that I threw together. I wanted to feature the newly buffed Master Yi, being able to level up in deck, or rather, throughout multiple copies of Master Yi, as well as the newly buffed Dragon Collar going down to 5 mana. I was thinking about what really made sense with Flow, and Bandle City has always been that, I think, region that has the highest consistency of being able to proc flow because you do naturally have cards like trinket trade as well as uh, other units that generate spells such as yoral squire and conchologist now with that in mind i piece together a win con with fizz and soul sword be able to buff that up and then you have the uh, ephemeral imperions from the dragon collar to kind of also chuck in and finish the game hopefully in this deck master Yi is able to level and then you have that extra level of threat and removal with the master Yi. But rest of the deck, very jam-packed with other flow cards. We have Witness, uh, my classic favorite of a flow card, Unworthy Soul, Deep Med, and things like that to keep it going. Maybe maybe like uh, Eye of the Dragon over Assistant Librarian, but just going to try that out and see how it goes. 
but very, very, very interested to see how Dragon Caller will perform with its buff down to five mana. And maybe this deck has enough legs to be a little bit faster and be able to race down your opponent. But we shall see. And of course, last but not least, we have the Albus Fair Exchange. We have classic jace heimer list here but but you thought it was classic no 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 we have two copies of soul cleave one of the newest cards to kill an ally summon two ephemeral copies of it and this combos off very very nicely with hextech handler being able to uh, give our turrets an extra plus two plus two as well as just generating a little bit of extra stats on the turn that we're attacking with and that can be a very potent sort of combo if you are able to land it off. But if you aren't, we also have two copies of Aloof Travelers that also works in combination with Soul Cleave. And if you get to a very late game and you can Soul Cleave Albus Ferris, well, I guess you can just draw all your, all your Jaces and just have two Ferrises attacking for a lot of damage. So uh, looking at Soul Cleave and finding a deck for it, this does stand out as one of the higher possibilities of having some very, very nice targets with cards like Hextech Handler, Aloof Traveler, and Albus Ferris. Also going to feature the Hate Spike buff, having the turrets to sack, and also dealing 3 damage or 2 is just kind of cheating. But other than that, very st standard Jace Heimer list, but with some very, very interesting sort of changes that might shake things up a little bit and introduce a little bit more spice into this kind of deck list. But those are seven decks featuring some of the newly buffed cards that I'm excited to try out t later today. I will be streaming um, seven, no, no, that's not correct, 8 p.m. EST. Uh, over on twitch.tv slash jaw 3 and 3 asianal link down below in the description so i hope to see you guys there hopefully i'll have a webcam because i do think it's coming later today but hope you guys are excited for the new patch excited to be back uh, make sure you check out the patch video if you didn't already and uh, thank you guys for tuning in let me guys know what you guys are excited for to trying out because i know i didn't cover out every single patch things like kale and other things didn't quite make this video but hopefully you guys have something interesting that you guys would like me to try out. Uh, so feel free to share that down below in the comments. But thank you again for watching and tuning in. See you guys later. Peace out guys and have a good one.